and then you went to West Ham as a, yeah. a first team coach. Yeah, that was more. Um, David Moyes and I have got in the same holiday place in Florida for years, purely by chance. Purely by chance. He is his children, my children. So we end up playing golf and whatever else. And do you beat him as well? And uh, <laughs> it's been close. <laughs> be careful what I say here. But um, he, um, we had this, uh, and I had a couple of offers from championship clubs, and um, one of them was going to the takeover. So I met with them all, and the deal was there. And they were pushing. It's nice to be wanted in football. Um, but then David said, "Would you come and be my number two at West Ham on the, on the golf course?" And I think, well, I've never experienced Premier League. I've been Premier League in Scotland, but always Championship. And I wanted to see what the the level was like. I want to understand the financials better. I want to look at the staffing structures. So I just thought, yeah. And the same thing as the city. If you don't do it, you mm. look back and go, I could have tasted it. I really enjoyed the, the European side. Obviously, we won a trophy at the end of the year. So it was a great end to the season. Found it really frustrating in a number of ways, having been a number one. And that's not in an arrogant way. That's just you're used to making decisions and yeah. suddenly it's not your decision. And, and that's a really tough one. You know, yeah. It really is. So that was that. But it was a great experience now. But that was my choice. And it's my choice to leave at the end as well. Because again, it's a little bit different different approaches to the game and I didn't want to lose a friendship with David so mm. it's, it's the right thing I think what if you took over a Premier League club now which player out of that West Ham squad would you take Dex obviously gone you only get one Declan, <laughs> you, have, you have to say Declan must Declan you, you have to say Declan Tim because look at the impact Dex had at Arsenal um, look at his character look at his consistency his physicality and his you know, what a player he is so He's a tremendous, tremendous international. But I'm not. I know your second one. Yeah. Pakatar. Pakatar. What a player. What a player. Magnificent talent. So, again, you know, no disrespect to any of the players I've been privileged to work with. There were some lovely players, really good players. But when you look at that level, when you've got the likes of Nayef Agard and you've got Pakatar and Dr. Mice and Jared Bowen and, you know, these type of players, mm. there's some top, top talents there. And West Ham got a great squad. No yeah. credit to David and the staff for assembling that squad. He's just a dream, Declan, isn't he? He's just a manager's dream. He's your first on your team sheet because you know you're going to get a seven at least. And if he makes mistakes, they're going to be honest mistakes. Pakatar, I love as well because he's a maverick. If you need someone to win you the game, you need to get the yeah. ball to that man. And he sees things which you just don't see. Yeah. You know, you look at the pass, the, final, the winning goal in the final, European final. Everyone to the Jared, what a great finish. Look at the pass from Pakatar. He sees it early. He's got a mercurial left foot and nothing phases him, Tim. Mm. The deck for me, it's, it's more about the character as well. Mm. You know, off the field, I've watched him deal with situations at 24 years of age, which is quite remarkable. How he's dealt with the, you know, the constant attention. You know, we had a training camp in Portugal and you watch, you watch a guy swamped everywhere from families and yet the way he deals with it, and I'm sure Tim's had loads of it, the way you deal with it, you know, it could affect you or you could be surly. You watch players, you dismiss from young kids. Never deck. He's yeah. been outstanding. So he deserves so much credit and there's so much more still to come. He's, he's going to turn 25 this year. Quite, yeah. quite incredible. We always ask our listeners, our viewers, for questions. If you'd ever like to send one in, you can do that either on Twitter or reply to the YouTube. Um, is probably the best way. So Joe Wilkes has asked a question this week for you. So he says, Mark's been on record about having different philosophies than David Moyes. Is that why you left West Ham? Basically, yeah. Nothing that David won't mind me saying that. Um, I think when, we, when he hired me, David spoke about my team's playing with a very much attacking approach. And David's built his you know, fantastic career on the base of a really solid defence and hard to, hard to break down, hard to beat, and then scoring set pieces, etc., and scoring good goals. So that's David's approach. I think he wanted a more of a combination. Um, I think we had quite a tough start to the season. We lost all the centre halves, and then players hit a barren run. You know, Jared wasn't scoring, Mickey wasn't scoring, Thomas Uchet wasn't scoring. Who had done this year? So we had a tough start, and I think Tim would agree. When when managers have a tough start, you revert back to what you know. Mm -hmm. So we went back to the basics of defending and hard to beat one v ones, two v twos, and I just felt that nah, I wasn't offering value. And if I'm 40, 45 years of age, I'm happy just to be in that environment. But I need to feel that I'm contributing, not in a again, not in an arrogant way. But you, I think you add value to wherever you are. So I wasn't satisfied in that respect. And we had different approaches. And hence, at the end of the season, it was a quick phone call the day after the final to say, probably best we, we split here. 